Ever seen a driver blow in the bag? It's getting to be a far more familiar sight than it used to be. Over 2,000 drivers are breathalyzed every week. Look at this chap. Had a marvelous time. Didn't think for one second. Now, I'm not fit to drive. Then he makes a stupid mistake. Didn't think he'd ever be stopped and have to blow in the bag. We didn't consider himself a criminal. We'd only had a couple of drinks. But he'll lose his license. And unfortunately, his wife can't drive. But he was one of the lucky ones. Last December, a quarter of all the drivers killed were known to be over the limit. Last year, there were nearly 40,000 convictions. Make sure you're not added to this year's total. Drinking and driving. It's just not worth it. When a drunken driver gets his license back... How much? His insurance can often double. What, for third party? Disqualified. Drinking and driving. He'll find it expensive wherever he goes. It's more than I paid for the motor. And the real joke is, although he's allowed to drive... It's the best thought to do, pal. Can he afford to? I'll do you a favour. I'll buy the motor off you. <laughs> Most of us reckon we can handle our motors after a few pints. <laughs> Take it easy and you don't attract the law. But what if some stupid git does this? Or this? Or this? Those few pints will just cost you your license. So is the stupid git now. Right, I'm off then. Forget the car when you go for a drink, and you can also forget the well-meant advice. Are you sure you're okay to drive? Forget the self-denial. No, thanks, mate. I'm driving. You can even forget being a free taxi service. Just a favour. But most important, you can forget this. So if you really want to enjoy a drink, remember, when you fancy a jar, forget the car. <laughs>